Before we get into the video, if you want to know more about climbing terms, which we'll be using a lot here, I highly recommend checking out an introduction to climbing terms by my friend AE on his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. Yeah, I can reach like really easily. You can just stand. Yeah, I can just stand. stand yeah. Then I here I go for a toe instead. Toe. And I just walk walk up with my hands like a ladder. Dude. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I didn't even have to move my foot. I just like Woo. Welcome back. I'm John and I'm super excited today to introduce you to three awesome climbers I was able to work on projects with the last time I went to the bouldering hive in Circuit Makati. It was really cool to see how each of us were able to send or finish similar problems in our own unique ways. And I thought it would be a great idea to call these guys up so that we could compare and talk about our climbing beta. So before we get to that, let's get to know our climbers first. Hi, uh, I'm Joaquin. I'm 21. I've been climbing for a year and a half. Started in Australia, then moved here. In Australia, um, I was climbing about four times a week. I was overtraining, so I bumped it down to about three times a week here. Hi, I'm Mark, but people call me Boards. I'm 26 years old. I have been climbing since 2014, around seven years. So I started back when I was in college in UP. Since I work in the gym, so basically I climb four to five times a week. So hi, hello, I'm Yumi. I am 25. I've been climbing actually. I've tried it when I was a kid and I really enjoyed it. I've done it a couple times, but I never got to continue climbing like consistently until just four months ago. I mean, I think I could say three times a week when the gym is open. And because height plays a big factor in climbing, I had to ask. Five foot nine. At least my license says I'm five foot nine. 167 centimeters, so that's around 5'5". Five 5'1", five. Five so uh, climbing is a little <laughs> challenging. And what about their climbing styles? My favorite type style of climbing is mostly big, bigger moves. Uh, my fingers aren't as strong as they could be, so just like big, nice holds. My climbing style is weird because I started out being more dynamic, but now I try to keep it controlled and not to cut loose from the wall. I haven't really developed something that I could say is truly my style yet, but I do enjoy slab problems the most. I think I excel in balancey type problems. As for me, I've been climbing since 2018, about three years. I climb around two to three times a week before quarantine, and I'm 5'5". Five five. Okay, let's get to our beta comparison. So after setting everything up and figuring out exactly what we were going to do, we started talking about this blue V4 problem on the warped wall. And everyone agreed that the crooks are the hardest part of the problem was this blue triangle. I hated that. That, you really have to hit that in the right place, that triangle. It's super tensiony, yeah. You have to transfer the weight like over from your left to right and in your feet as well. Yeah, you, have, you pinch or you... Nice pinchy. One. I think the nice part to hold there is the corner. Yeah, yeah that, exactly. there, that one, that one. Right there. I think I almost the barred door here to really control yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like for this, I don't have to bend that much. <laughs> like from the start. Because I noticed that a lot of tall people have a harder time like positioning themselves. You go right hand up to the uh, oh, volume and then and yeah, then you hold it on the other well. side. Yeah, it also helps me like balance. I've never been able to do it the way that most people do where they just kind of start on the um, right side and continue from there. Like I always have to go to the far left of the volume. And I think Yumi and I were working on this at least 15 times. Well, it definitely took me more than 15, I think. I think this was one of like the first V4s that I really got to finish at the gym. So it's like the, the sloper part at the beginning is like not that bad for me. But then it's just like getting that stance with like the volume to support me is like super challenging. And then moving to that blue triangle is just uh, it was it was really difficult and having to do it again for the for the league that we joined. Um, yeah, we had to do it another like five, seven times, I think is like accurate for how many videos I have on my phone of us. <laughs> it was your rest day that day, I remember. Yeah, it was my rest day. 
Gaining rest. It was rest day where he <laughs> rests. Why well, did yeah. everything you did? <laughs> you know, here, here we have peer pressure <laughs> into climbing everything anyway. In this next problem, these two volumes allowed us to get creative with our beta. Yeah, that's the intended beta. Um, and that press is like much easier for me. Change and then heal. you went heal yeah. actually. Yeah, I went heal. And I think you shifted your weight to your left a lot more. For me, I just kind of reached. I just pushed my weight left, not up. Mm -hmm. so, not yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Awkward. So it was less on the arms and more of like uh, just rolling on your heel, right? <laughs> yeah. This is what what I find interesting about this problem because since nga, same height kami ni boards, iba yung way na we figured out that part. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that was the beta that I found as well. Afterwards, I think I was helping like Yumi do it. We were just sitting around, and I, I think you may, you might have suggested, or I saw Yumi trying to do the beta, and I was like, wow, this is like actually the beta that matches me the most. Yeah, but I don't have it on video. <laughs> um, I kind of just yeah. like tried to balance myself enough that I could get, I could switch foot on that smaller one below the volume. Yeah. On the top. Yeah, and then I'd step up and reach up. But it's been tricky to <laughs> repeat that move. <laughs> yeah. I climb with you guys a lot and it's just like, your betas don't work for me. So I don't know, it kind of has me um, kind of, like I have to be more creative with how I approach these. Like a lot more experimental. And I kind of just have to go with what feels right for me. Like even if I'd want to, most of the time if I like try to go with your beta, it just doesn't work for me. And for this last one, getting through these two blue pill holds was a challenge that definitely showed off our climbing styles. Wow, you didn't even have to swing. Wait till you guys do my video. Because <laughs> yeah. the first time I sent this, I hugged the volume on the right. Like I squeezed it with my legs. Any particular reason why you went for the heel over the top? I saw it in the video. <laughs> I saw it in the video because the one who made this problem was Mio. In Instagram, it was they did a heel heel hook, so I tried doing the heel hook. So here started with heel hook din, but I was doing it the wrong way, so I couldn't fit my foot. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. So it was too far. Uh, far uh, but I barn door here. Yeah, it's like kakalas yung right. Nice pants. Thank you. I think everyone says nice pants when you wear those pants. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have to swing nice. to be able you have to, to swing. Yeah, yeah nice. bring myself up. That's nice. I don't know. I didn't know that people were use, were like heel hooking that. <laughs> I think it was like it, it felt too awkward for me, so it just like was out of the options in my head. Ooh, yeah. with the uh, yeah, with the foot the, clamp, yeah. You could squeeze the volume like right that. Just for context, this is not actually the original beta that I started with and it kind of developed over time. Yeah, I can reach like really easily. Just stand. Yeah, just I can just stand, stand yeah. <laughs> then I here I go for a toe instead. Toe yeah, and I just walk nice. walk up with my hands like a ladder. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think actually Yumi's beta is probably impossible <laughs> for me because my legs are too long, so I don't think I could pinch the volume. I would be interested to see you try it though. Yeah, try actually. That. Yeah, if ever we could do a follow-up video where we all like, you know, exchange, we like swap beta, so we all have to do it, yeah. That's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. <laughs> like trying other people's beta on the same problem. So what are our climbers' advice for working on a project? I think that maybe isn't talked about enough is like the mental aspect of climbing. Resting, patience. When you turn up to the gym, like how you feel like you might climb, it really goes the way you think it's going to go. Having a proper rest day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> resting. Not like my rest day. <laughs> Not like my rest day. He just climbs yeah. anyway. <laughs> Important aspect is feedback and accepting failure. It's like you keep on trying even though you fail. So you have to learn from what just happened, improve, try something else, and then do it again. While you're doing your project, don't like tunnel vision into it and just keep trying it over and over. Just trying other stuff in between sometimes helps. And like resetting that uh, mindset. When you're looking at your project, like sitting in a different place, 
and looking at it from a different angle. And so you basically, you do, you do like so much of the work off of the wall before you actually get on the wall. So like that gives you so much more energy to actually like project your project. You just have to dial down on what you really need to do. But if you need finger strength, so you work on your finger strength. If you need footwork, you work on your footwork. If you need body tension, you work on your body tension. I think it's really important to project with other people. So you like you get to ask feedback on what you need to do or uh, like how your beta is and stuff like that. Keep on trying, then make sure it's a quality try. Like every time you step in the wall, your intent is to top it out. What I can say is um, sort of don't be afraid to experiment or break rules. I think um, as a beginner or like being relatively new to it, it does get intimidating because you see a lot of people going about problems in a specific way. But I've learned to just kind of go what feels, not only feels, but I mean, honestly, you have to like also analyze how you're going to go about a problem, but what seems to be right for you and your physique, I think. Um, like being, being shorter, um, I mean, for a while, I kind of saw it as a disadvantage, but now I'm starting to like, you know, it, it helps me kind of identify what I need to work on more. That's one accepting that this is how I am, this is how I'm built, can actually like get me farther because I can experiment more and try different things for problems that people already have like a set way of going about. So I don't know, it's kind of just um, helped me kind of understand myself more. So I think just being open to that kind of like process for yourself while approaching or like going about a problem is actually really important. As for my advice, be creative. Try using beta you wouldn't normally use and think outside of the box so that you can figure out what your body can and can't do. I think this can definitely help you solve future problems. So that's it for today. I'd like to thank Yumi, Borgs, and Joaquin for joining me in this video. I really learned a lot from you guys and I can't wait to see you guys at the gym so that we could work on projects again. By the way, since the gyms are closed, I'll be posting a series of bouldering logs, blogs, that you can check out. It's just chill music and pure bouldering. Thanks again for all the support, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment. I love reading your comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the wall, climbing.